I just thought I would add something to this video. You're going to come to fix your bulkhead. Right, this is the bulkhead here, this piece of wood. Call that a bulkhead. Now, I'm going to give you some top tips how to do this. Measure 10 millimeters or one centimeter from that point there, okay, to here. Then you grab one of these levels, okay, and what you do, you put that level inside the flat part there, and you get that bubble in the middle like that. So you're looking like this. Now what you want to do is get that level with this here. Now, how you do that is you get a, um, is it a protractor, a right angle bend. So you have a flat surface, you put your right angle bend at your 10 centimeter, your 10 millimeters out, and that will give you a straight line from top to bottom for as long as that is level. Okay, so you pack something underneath the tail in there and that will give you a straight line. Then put a roll of tape around it so it's even all the way around and cut the nose off. Put your nose onto some ply. I think this is uh, one eighth ply. Draw around it, jig it out, use your five minute epoxy, stick it on. Then you get your engine mount or your motor mount and you draw a center line down the front on the vertical and horizontal and then you mark the holes. Now the inner holes, one, two, three, four, they are for mounting your motor to. So you're concerned about this one here, this one here, the very top one, the very bottom one. The outer ones, you're not going to use them. Now, you're going to want to mount your motor slightly down, like this. Now, you can use some complicated systems, but you basically want to get four degrees pointing down. Now, the simplest way to do it is the way I've done it, and I'm, we'll use Old Faithful. Now, Old Faithful here, all you've got to do pop a washer behind that motor mount and that will give you approximately four degrees downwards so the thrust is going down which puts lift under the wing and that's why you want it okay so that's the baron's topical tip there uh, this model here I think it's two years old now something like that um, still flies so I'm really making this one just just for the videos and so I have a spare fuselage in case I ultimately prang the um, the little glider so you can see I've cut it all out as per previous videos and a little bit at the front and uh, I'll be just carrying on with that as per previous videos so that's how you want to mount your motor. I will supplement this with more information regarding mounting the actual motor and putting the, uh, the cables through. All right, well, thank you very much. And that's the end.